I am Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting. A quilt ladder is a beautiful way to display quilts in your home. Today our staff is going to share a few tips for adding a display like this to your house. First let's talk about finding a great area in your home to add one. So we have one in our living room right in the corner and as you can see it's between a window and a doorway. So it really wasn't a big enough space to add a piece of furniture and while we could have added artwork, it would have taken a lot to fill the space. So a quilt ladder that's just about my height is the perfect way to fill that space. So we just stuck it right in the corner and it adds some color and some texture to this part of our house. Something to consider when buying a quilt ladder. Mine has a rubber stopper on the end so that it doesn't leave marks on my wall. Hi, I'm Allison. I'm gonna share a couple of tips on how to fold your quilts so you can best hang them on your quilt ladder and feature those blocks. First, find the block that you wanna feature. In this quilt, I'm gonna feature the very middle block. So I'm gonna hold it up to my quilt ladder and find where the middle is and then fold my quilt so that block is in the center and put it on the ladder just gently and kind of pull it so it stays. And you can kind of scoot the fold as you need to fit the width of your ladder. And then just make a few little tweaks, tuck it in. And again, you can just kind of shift for the width of your ladder. And then you have your block centered. Hi, I'm Doris Brunette, editor of Quilt Sampler Magazine. Today I'd like to give you some tips for protecting your quilts when you're using wooden quilt ladders for display. If you're using a quilt ladder with wooden rungs, especially if it is untreated or unsealed wood, you're going to want to put something between the wood and the quilt to protect the quilt from it bleeding or staining from the wood. I recently sanded and refinished this old painter's ladder to use for my own quilts. I used a stain, but not a polyurethane or a varnish because I really wanted to keep the vintage look of the ladder. You can get fancy and purchase archival tissue paper or archival polyester film online to wrap the ladder rungs, but the methods I'm going to show you will do just as good a job. The easiest method is to wrap a white cotton hand towel around the rung and secure it with either a binder clip or a safety pin. It will make a safe and quick barrier between the wood and your quilt. If you want a more fitted cover for your ladder rungs, sew a rectangle of cloth that measures the length of the ladder rung by the circumference of the rung and attach ties just ribbon or twill tape will do to secure it to the rung. And if you're hanging a vintage quilt or any quilt that you want a softer fold in, cut a pool noodle a half an inch shorter than the length of your ladder rung, slice an opening down the side of the pool noodle and slip it over the ladder rung. Cover the noodles with a cotton cloth. I just used a plain flour sack towel and then drape your quilt over the towel. As you can see from looking at my ladder from the side view, the finished look of each method is about the same and all of the protective layers are hidden by the quilts.